The Craft Council has had a conference called Makeshift, which is focusing on innovation and craft and design. And Makeshift Do is the sort of public extension of that, opening up maker spaces, uh, getting people involved in seeing these technologies from themselves and having a go at making. It's been put together by the Crafts Council with the V&A, with the RSA and the Institute of Making at UCL. This year, 2014, is the first year. We've got 20 spaces taking part at the moment, about half in London and all over the rest of the country, from Dundee to Bristol, Plymouth, Manchester. But the thing that's kind of binding all of them is this idea of access to new technologies, new ways of making. People hear about 3D printing, people hear about laser cutting and all these digital technologies, but not that many people have a chance to do it themselves. And this is a chance to demystify and uh, get public in and understanding what's happening in the venues. I guess there's so many aspects to it and you can get involved in so many different ways. I think everyone can take part or get involved in some way, whether or not you're going to be programming or 3D modeling for 3D printing or you know just drawing designs on a computer in order to laser cut. To help people find the venues where they can makeshift do, we've developed an app which helps you locate your nearest makeshift do venue and find out what's happening close to you. We just see all this new digital technology and these new spaces as a, a new way of making. I think if you can engage people and bring them in and get them doing things like at the intersection of using their hands and using this technology, then that's only a good thing. It's also an opportunity to stretch the practice of people who are already craft makers. How can they engage with this and what is the potential of this technology to help their practice evolve as well? I think that's really exciting. So I think this festival is really important because I think it's great to show what's going on out there. Um, there's so much happening in the, the world of making and fab labs and I think it can be a bit of a bubble amongst makers. So I think if everybody has a chance to come and see all the exciting things and it inspires them in some way, then I think that's great.